Hello everyone, my name is Arnie Olson and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a dancer, model, and actor based in New York City. And here on my channel, I'm passionate about providing you guys with tools and resources to add value to your life and to improve your life in any way that I can, whether that's beauty and skincare or business and finance. So sit back, relax, get a beverage. I'm here with my coffee. I post here on YouTube three times a week, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, so be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below if you'd like to stay tuned for future content. And if you don't mind hitting the like button, it helps me out a lot. It helps out the YouTube algorithm so that way you guys can keep coming back and seeing my content and keeping these lights on. Well, without further ado, well, let's get into it. So today we're going to be doing a, I don't really know what I'm going to call this yet. You can just see the title below, future people of the future. I'm going to be doing an everyday, I guess, model casting call look where, you know, you don't want to look like you're wearing makeup, but you want to look like an improved version of yourself, a version of yourself with maybe less zits, less wrinkles, whatever your skincare concerns may be. Let's cover it. Let's get into it. So first, before you start any makeup, you really have to make sure that your skin is moisturized. So I'm going to go do that. I'm feeling a little dry. I'm feeling dehydrated. I'm gonna go wash my hands because cleanliness is godliness. Okay, and I'm back. I went nowhere. When you're doing especially an effortless makeup look, you want your skin to be very hydrated so that way your products don't cling to any dry patches or just kind of reveal the fact that you might be wearing something besides moisturizer. To ensure that I have the most hydrated skin, I'm gonna use my Naturium Hyaluronic Water Cream. This is a product by Susan Yara here on YouTube. Her channel, I believe, is called Mix Makeup. I just really am a fan of the ingredients that they put in this product and what the product stands for and what the brand stands for as a whole. And basically that is quality ingredients, but not a super high price point. So it's definitely very accessible. And I will make sure to link all my products, as always, down below. I'm going to take a little bit of this. This product is great because it really just kind of turns into like a more of a watery consistency and really sinks in. So I like to go in with the hydrogel moisturizer with a lot of nice active ingredients like hyaluronic acid and niacinamide that are going to hydrate your skin and make sure that your skin stays looking nice even though you're wearing some makeup that maybe isn't so nice for it. Next I'm going to go in with my Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. This is actually a really good makeup primer because it has a ton of glycerin in it, and glycerin is a really good binding agent. Warm that up in my hands just to thin it out a bit. And I recommend doing this step at least twice, even if you're oily. And that's because you're gonna powder afterwards, right? If you're gonna be wearing this for longer than two hours, normally you should be reapplying your moisturizer. Think of it that way. It's kind of like a backup for later on when you can't put on more hydration. Just put it all on. Okay, I'm gonna take one more pump, because like I said, you really want to do two layers of this. Don't forget your neck. And be really careful with your neck, because your neck is really, really thin skin. As you can see, I'm already getting some redness just from that, so I literally just kind of dab, pat, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna put on some more Carmex. You know it. You know her. She's, she's everywhere. She's popping. Definitely not like my favorite lip product, but it's cheap, and I'm gonna be covering it. I'm gonna be covering it. I'm gonna be covering it with more expensive makeup anyway. So, so there we go. The lips are so much better. I'm then gonna go in with a caffeine eye cream. I don't like to use makeup under my eyes. That's because for makeup castings, and especially if you're gonna be up close and personal, it's one of the first places where you get creasing and you get fine lines and things like that. So personally, I avoid it, but to each their own. If you need to put on under eye concealer to feel yourself and to have the best skin day that you can have, then put on concealer. And you wanna pat that in with your ring finger. There we go, we got kind of a nice glow, a nice sheen, if you will. So now that the skin is ready to go, no more dawdling, we're gonna get into the makeup, the fun stuff. Now, honestly, this product, like, is the tutorial. I love concealer. I just find that when I use foundation and then concealer and then powder, at least for my skin, it emphasizes a lot of texture. So I prefer to go in with one product and just set it very strategically. Is he born with it? Did he use a ton of NARS radiant creamy concealer? Maybe, maybe not. I'm just gonna cover up any friends who were not necessarily invited to this party. 
Those of you with acne, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a consistent struggle. It's easier said than done, but really try not to let a spot get in the way of your confidence and what you can do that day. And I'm gonna cover up a little bit of some capillaries that I have on my nose. It's just something that I genetically am predisposed to have. Doing the lines on the side of the nose really helps kind of slim it down a little bit. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer right here. And I'll do a little bit on my chin and the corners of my mouth because I get a lot of darkness there. Before really getting into makeup, it's important to think about what your goals are with your makeup. And for me, that's to turn down my redness a little bit and to cover up specific spots. Just because you watch a beauty guru who does full glam doesn't necessarily mean that you and that beauty guru have the same skincare goals or the same end goals for your final look. So, okay, I'm going to use my ring finger, gentlest finger, and get to blending. And when you get to a zit, you want to tap very lightly to maintain as much coverage as you can on the... Okay. Coffee does things to me. Tap very lightly on the actual zit, and then you can tap a little bit more aggressively, not a lot, on the outside to blend in the edges into your natural skin. So there's a seamless transition between the high coverage on the zit and then kind of the medium coverage blends out into your skin. Y'all are lucky, I turned off my AC. I was, I filmed this previously and I was listening to the footage and I just heard the AC way too much and it was, I'm a perfectionist and it was annoying me so I'm just here refilming it. It's a little hot in this room, but I'm doing it for you guys. So another reason to hit that like button. I'm waiting. And obviously you don't want, you know, these harsh lines to stay like that. Kind of blend them into each other. You still get a little bit of that nose snatchery. I'm gonna do a little bit on my upper lip because I get a lot of redness and a little bit more under my nose and any place where I need a little bit more coverage. And again, I'm not gonna be setting this because I know that I'm gonna be inside all day, but if I was gonna be outside in the New York City subway, yeah, I'd really need to set that, especially for wearing a mask, you know, going outside, sweating, or if I was gonna be taking pictures or anything like that, I would go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder in shade 10. One of the reasons I'm not using that today is because my Fit Me Powder, tragically, I was sipping my coffee, doing my normal thing, and it fell to the ground, she fell. Shattered. Yeah, it was very sad, which I was surprised that it shattered because it's plastic, but I don't know, I guess I have very sharp floors. I'm just gonna kind of lightly pat my face because this does have a little bit of extra powder on it, and that's just gonna kind of give me a really natural finish. And really, really light pass over the places where you might need more coverage, just to make sure it all stays exactly where it needs to be. Again, with a little bit of that extra powder. I'm just gonna go besides my nose and my smile line. See, that kind of mattified a little bit, but I still have a really nice natural look to my skin. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna do some bronzer. This one is by Tom Ford. It's the smaller size, but I think it's like $85. Something crazy like that. Don't at me because I did not buy this. Um, this is a gift. I really like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I really like the Morphe Bronzer. I love the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. Those are just some affordable options, but if you want a luxe option, I really, really like this one. And I'm just gonna kind of go a little bit above where I'd normally contour because as you blend it, it's gonna fall naturally with gravity and you kind of want the opposite, right? You want a lifted effect. So let's get to blending. And another thing that helps me with going higher is that I kind of avoid the breakout section. Makeup is all about trial and error and seeing what works for your face shape. Here I am just sharing what works with mine and hopefully you can take some tips and tricks and apply them to yourself. And who knows, you might find a, a new makeup stan. But real talk, so many of you might know that this is not my first time having a YouTube channel. I previously had a YouTube channel in like late high school, early college. You know, I got really busy with school and I mean, there's such a social stigma about like, especially men making videos like this. You know, I got some sh 
from my roommates about it. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it definitely discouraged me a little bit. And also part of that is, you know, I would see people like Jeffree Star and Manny MUA and people like that on YouTube and kind of feel a little bit pressured to act the part you know, of, of a guy in the beauty space. But I've kind of just realized that, you know, being your authentic self is so, so important and so rare to come across. That kind of excited me, just the idea of really just bearing it all and being as transparent as it can be for you guys. So I'm gonna get some more bronzer, put a little elbow grease in it. If you're like me, bronzer is your life. And I'm gonna put a little bit down my nose. Get the bottom to make it look a little bit shorter. Gotta get the neck so the face matches the body. You should be using sunscreen and your face should always be less tan than your body. Not that you shouldn't use body sunscreen, you should also use body sunscreen. So I'm gonna take this Tom Ford brow sculptor in 04 Espresso. Again, don't at me, this is a birthday present from a while ago. But you can use any one, I really like the Maybelline brow pencil. It's the thin one by Maybelline. Um, or also the Anastasia brow definer. Yeah, okay, I'm back and it's hot as a sauna. I'm gonna go in from right here and kind of take it up and fill in any sparse areas. And then I'm gonna brush that out with a spoolie. And then I'm gonna take some random gel that I found in my dad's office. After all, like any brow gel you get, it's pretty much the same thing as hair gel, hairspray, whatever. Spray some hairspray on a spoolie, you can use hair gel, whatever. Let's do it. And then another common drugstore life hack is just to use the Great Lash Clear Mascara and use that as a brow gel. Personally, that one's not my favorite. Instead, I prefer stealing my friends and family members random toiletries to each their own. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And if you make any mistakes with your eyebrows, since you put such a little amount of foundation, you can use a Q-tip, clean up any excess, and kind of blend away that line. And there you have it. You can also, you know, use some more powder, maybe cut out your contours a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it more natural today. I'm gonna take the same bronzer and I'm gonna follow the outer V shape of my eye towards my eyebrow really lightly. Take a little bit more and go underneath, under the lash line. And then you wanna kind of follow it upwards and connect the two eye components. Is that, is that a thing that I, that I should say? I don't know. So I'm just gonna quickly do that on the other eye. Almost like a smudged out brown liner, but way more diffused. Ah. And that's really all I wanted to do. And then you can kind of take your brush sideways and scratch lightly at any edges, just to make sure it's 100% blended. <laughs> So now I'm gonna take a <laughs> now I'm gonna take a highlighter. Jeez, I was like ex ex I was like exorcist back there. Can't talk. I'm gonna take a little bit of highlighter. You can use any highlighter you want. I really like the Maybelline Master Chrome. And I'm just gonna put it really lightly, a little bit in my inner corner, and take a little bit more and put it on my cupid as well. Take a little bit more that on my brow bone, tiny bit on my eyelid, and the tiniest, tiniest bit on the cheekbones. I really like using my fingers for highlighters. You can really easily accidentally put too much. So I like to do little amounts of makeup slowly and build from there. Okay, and that's highlighter. Now we're just gonna do a little bit of cream blush on the lip. Fenty Beauty has some really good blush sticks that I use on my lips all the time. I dab it just slightly over the top of my lip line so when I blend it out, it kind of gives my lips a fuller look without looking made up. This is the final everyday on the go natural makeup tutorial, whatever I'm gonna call this look. What do you guys think of this makeup look? I really like it. I really like the way it turned out. Comment down below if you like this look and what kind of content you'd like to see from me here on this channel in the future. Thank you for watching if you've stayed tuned until the end. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad that I got to and share some tips, tricks, and stuff with you guys and with the floor. If you wouldn't mind hitting that red subscribe button and hitting the like button helps me out a lot. I post three times a week, so be sure to hit that red subscribe button. You know, there's about to be some fire content. There's about to be some tea spilled on the regular. So 
why not? And I will see all of you back here on the next one. Bye guys, thank you.